Hello everybody, and in today's video, we're going into straight into Assassin's Creed 3 Sequence 10. This is the uh, third to last mission of the game, and this time it's actually unique because we're seeing them consider joining the Templars and the, you know, the Assassins and the Templars join together. So we're going to see what happens, and let's hop straight into it. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment for anything, any games you want to see or anything tips you want to give me. I have been reunited with my father by Natalie. My father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality, but it seems one who must be a landed white man to benefit. Yeah. What if someone like me, or Surrey? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? It's a lot of fun, you know? A very, very Actually, peaceful I holiday. Am. I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor. But there was also truth there. I failed the order. <coughs> allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakening. Which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Hatham may listen, but will uh, understand. This is unique. Templars and assassins joining together. Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done. <coughs> hey, Fum. No, don't don't tell me to wait. You need to talk to me now, bitch. Planning, if we're to put an end to this. I've tried, but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now, only to await orders from above. Keep digging. Come find me when you have something worth sharing. All oh, right, Hafen's being a little bit controlling now. Come on, Hafen. No need to be that loud. More well-placed attacks, and we'll be able to put an end to the civil war and be rid of the crown. What do you intend? Well, nothing at the moment, since we're completely in the dark. I thought the Templars had eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, we do. Until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the loyalist commanders. Okay, uh... Hafem. No, Hafem. Oh, just because I put down one dog doesn't mean you have to kill me. Can't let everyone who had to follow me to enter the earth. Jesus. Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. These stupid British heart. shoulders. I might be British myself, yes, but they're them, dumb. They risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. Well, are nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Exactly. Nice. All right, then. Hey, Fum. Connor? Little help here? Or George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. All right, all right. I saw this. Keep him away from me! Yeah, 
attack with them from above, let's go. That's how you do it, son. Move. That's how you go fucking do it. I said move. Wait, wait. I'll tell you anything you want. Anything, only don't make We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold, and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then. There you go. What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Oh. Two days from now. June 18th. <coughs> I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I've told you everything. Now let me go. Of course. Nope. No, you're not letting go. We're not letting you go. Exactly. Hafe has all fade out, apparently. Yeah, you said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed ah, that's a Joel them. Miller strategy. You warned the loyalists. You could have held him until the fight was done. What? And with precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. He's not a good person, Connor. Don't let him betray you because he's your father. Don't let him, like, guide you. I favor him, but my enemy is a notion of <coughs> nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British crown or the Templar cross. And I hope in time the loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said Because you're a little snobby person that's full of himself. And I'm a lost really kid that needs to be room. taught the path. Sir. Hello, George. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondent. Oh, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Claude. We've been <coughs> receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. Oh, it was you. And so now you see what happens to George this great Washington man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility. No! Who did what and why must wait? My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Yeah, there son. you go. Fuck you, Haven. Do you think me so soft that by calling me son, I might change my mind? How long did you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command! A warning to you both! Choose to follow me, or oppose me, and I will kill you. And I will, trust me, I have it. <laughs> that's actually really, that's actually funny. How does she know it was me? Charles <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Why different ways. All right. I feel like Connor's more misguided. All right, there we go. Did have all non-lethal methods. 
that's good then. Professional knocker out. So, assume. Wait, is this a guy from the game that helped us? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I had to. It was the only way. It was the only way. Yo, Tena. Taz is a dancer. It's a good old headstone. Written again. Charles Lee. Mountmouth. Was a dodge. I saw one out to Masse. It's not hold them, but three hot. Run a day with you, Uni. Jura Saga. I saw one out to Masse. Oh, Doc, thank you. Come on, dear. Run a deal. Oh, what the queen. I'm going to get some. Oh, I'm sorry. You came on to me, or I had, I had to defend myself. Just in time to bear Monmouth. witness to our glorious victory. Where is Charles Lee? That batar. He shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance and then rise away. I am left to pick up the pieces. <coughs> Where did they come from? Oh no. Who Stand did it We are falling back! I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. Okay. It's gonna be a cannibal mission, isn't it? To serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bonne chance, mon ami. Baby. And the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape. Well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the loss would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale dishonored. Was true. Dishonored. Lee was acting oh. most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political. Quote of the day. That's quote of the day right there. Such an act. Somebody clip that. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. I like how the uh, eagle it wings will be are on the, the front. I deliver you of the uh, hood. Grim expectations. Complete DNA sequence ten. Let's fucking go. What a good end. To be continued on the next part.